I'm Jeff Shield. I'm the chair of the Department of Mechanical and Materials Engineering at the University of Nebraska. We have one undergraduate program in our department, and that's mechanical engineering. So you can earn your bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering. You can also earn your master's and PhD in mechanical engineering and applied mechanics, or your PhD in materials engineering or biomedical engineering. So mechanical engineering is a field with opportunities in many, many different areas. Basically, we like to build things. We like to build new materials that perform better in any application. We like to build systems that harvest energies from their surroundings. We like to build robots that perform surgeries and collect data inside your body. We build rehabilitative systems that help people learn to walk after they've had severe accidents. And we like to build systems that move heat from here to there more efficiently. And the best way to build things is to understand how things work. So we understand, we study and learn what happens if I apply, apply a force here or there. We study and learn how to make something a few nanometers in size that will both be strong and tough for future composites. We study and learn how a stem cell develops into tissue if I stress it out. And we study and learn how fluid flows when the channel gets very small. Really, it's kind of fun to ask why. For example, I have a piece of copper here, solid piece of copper too. Why can I bend this copper into a shape like this, but it's very difficult to straighten it back out? For example, why does this ball bearing not bounce, but this ball bearing bounce a long time? The special material, what could you make out of it? How come a composite like this is so light? but yet so strong. And of course, the important thing is how can I take advantage of these properties to make things? The systems we build range in size over incredible length scales. The materials I've just shown you, we can engineer and build at the nanometer or even the atomic level. We can direct cell growth at the micrometer scale we can design and build surgical robots and other medical devices at the millimeter scale, and all the way up to railroads and billion dollar power plants that cover acres and acres of land. Whatever it is, mechanical engineering is for you. We have a number of interesting research projects going on in the department in a lot of different areas that dramatically impact our day-to-day -day lives. In engineering, we seek to build and make your lives better. We have strong areas in energy and biomedical. For example, we have one research team that is developing technology for organic farming. Here, they use heat to kill the weeds. The heat heats up and destroys the waxy outside part of the leaf, allowing water to evaporate and the weeds to eventually die. To do this, they use propane torches. This research is a collaboration between engineers in our department and plant scientists. They've also developed a company that designs and builds these. Here you see our four row weed control system. And of course, when we're stationary, we burn things up. But once we start moving, the heat is used to kill the weeds. I also mentioned surgical robots. Dr. Ferreter has developed a program to design and build small-scale robots for minimally invasive surgery. Healing time is directly proportional to the size of the incision and how much muscle you have to cut through. If we can make the incision smaller, then the healing time goes down dramatically. Dr. Ferreter's team is working on these robots 
that will enter through very small incisions in your body, or maybe even natural orifices. He's developed a very strong research team and works with many students and medical doctors at the University of Nebraska Medical Center to test his robots. We also have a research program involving mechanical engineering professors designing roadside safety barriers. Here you see barriers in high-speed collision. The, the barrier that was developed here at University of Nebraska is called the Safer Barrier, and it's now at every NASCAR track in the United States. The basic principles of these barriers also apply to normal roadways, and this team develops roadside safety barriers that are used throughout the United States. Here we see one of our microgravity teams. Microgravity is a project sponsored by NASA where students design experiments and then get to conduct these experiments in zero or microgravity aboard what is commonly called the Vomit Comet. This is a great experience for students to get involved in real life research and also to see some of the scientific challenges in conducting research in zero or microgravity. Another of our student-led design teams is the Baja team. This is sponsored, this is a competition sponsored by the Society of Automotive Engineers. And it's a national competition and even an international competition drawing teams from across the US and even some other countries. Here the team designs and builds an off-road vehicle. They compete in a series of events. This team last year finished third out of almost 100 teams, our top finish ever. So this team and the other teams are self-organized. The students get together, they decide the leadership, they design and build whatever it is here. In this case, it's the off-road vehicle. In other cases, it's the open wheel race car or rockets or airplane. They get to go to competitions and they get to apply their engineering skills and develop leadership skills. Many of our graduates work, well, most of our graduates work in a variety of companies. They can work in manufacturing, for example, Becton Dickinson or Hexagon Lincoln. Hexagon Lincoln is a local company here who designs and builds pressure vessels for, for example, natural gas and propane. They can work in the energy sector, for example, working for OPPD or NPPD. They can work at consulting or construction firms. Burns and McDonald and Black and Veatch are large consulting firms based in Kansas City that do billion dollar projects. They can work in design, for example, for General Motors, Alltech, or Pella Windows. They can work in materials, for example, working for ExxonMobil or Schlumberger down in Texas. So find a career that doesn't feel like a job. Choose mechanical engineering and make a difference in the world. Thank you. Let me know if you ever have any questions. I can be found in W342 Nebraska Hall. Thank you.